Artie loved to eat and he thought just because you were down and out didn't mean you also wouldn't love to eat a really good meal and be served it like you were a client in a re patron in a restaurant. I knew how much Marty cared both about cooking and about poverty and Marty was really in charge. He did everything from the beginning. He did the buying, he oversaw the cooking, he was in the kitchen some of the time and he, I, I have very vivid memories about the launch of the program 20 years ago. How he got the idea that the lawyers ought to do it, I'll never know. But he was funding it himself. And uh, I cannot remember why I went down at 5.30 in the morning to, to cook up eggs and, and sausages and stuff the first time, but I can certainly remember why I went back. Marty's legacy is, is, is extremely important to, to everyone who knew him and I would say to everybody who participates in the program because he's, uh, he's our father uh, in, in many respects and certainly the father of the program and uh, he had a vision um, and it's one that uh, is supported by certainly every volunteer I've met. He used to talk about Tika Molan which is a Jewish concept about repairing the world and making the world a better place and that we all had the opportunity to do that even if just in a little way.